Kia ora whanau. How's it going? Welcome back to Kaitaki Marakai, Backyard Gardens. Uh, we're just going to be doing a little clip today about garden preparation and what we're doing coming out of winter and preparation for our spring planting. So that's what we're up to today. Now, uh, this is our fourth day without rain. So uh, the soil's starting to warm up, the temperature's starting to warm up. So I'm thinking about planting in regards to over here, this mother here, you would have seen it on a number of clips where the tarp is. We're going to be putting in potatoes there at the end of August. So I've already got my uh, tubulars ready for that. Um, the other thing that I'm looking at doing over this period is my stored kumara that I put away from last season. I'm going to be encouraging um, tupu to grow off that. So that's, um, that's one of my next things. I'll be getting a container, like a basically a little glass house. I'll show you, I'll do a little video on that one. Um, and uh, we're gonna grow some tupu and um, hopefully plant those out around last long weekend before Christmas. Might be doing it a little bit earlier because the conditions up here. Um, yeah, so that's what we're up to and having a look at today. Okay, let's um, have a nosy. Um, so you would have seen winter time is a bit of a slow period of time for our mother. Things don't really grow very much. So if you have a look over there, you know, look at that's my summer half covered garden, and it's really just coming up the last bits. I've got um, garlic over the back there. Um, but it's all just kind of running down and now we as it gets warmer we're starting to kind of bring things up again <clears throat> and start planting uh, but to do that you need compost or good soil and so i've got a compost little thing over there for our surplus uh, grass clippings and uh, green wastes i've also got my worm farm and i put a clip on about that yesterday and i've got a little tire down here then I put surplus um, food scraps in here and the chicken jumps in and scrubs around. I'm actually going to take the tire away and put that in my worm farm um, and then I'll just start again. Um, if you want to have a good look at uh, the worm farm you can jump on some uh, previous videos I've done around this one but uh, also uh, Jeff Lawton um, from out of Australia does a good quarter about uh, worm farming so you can have a nosy at what he does over his work in regards to permaculture and food forests and all that pretty awesome stuff. Um, here is the garden that we planted uh, as our winter garden and I'm really happy with what that's looking like. It's all starting to... I did a bit of fertiliser so I got some worm juice out of there so I see my fertiliser, I got worm castings and worm juice is dripping down and so I did a bit of a walk around yesterday is that Monday yes yesterday morning and just gave some fertilizer to that look at the bok choy beautiful um, so this is where we're going to have our potatoes I decided we're going to plant potatoes in here so I'm going to probably broad fork this um, you would have seen if you've been watching and following us and do you know uh, love to have you on board click the like button click the share button uh, subscribe and all that type of stuff it helps the channel and um, helps us get the word out there but if you've been fo following us you would have seen Tony and I Tony from Henderson Tony Henderson from Zion Gardens uh, we did some site visits last week and had a look at what we need to do um, coming into spring uh, we're planning to start planting potatoes at the end of August and every three weeks we're going to be planting potatoes so we have harvest um, in three week intervals um, from Christmas onwards and we're going to probably do two months so three weeks plant three weeks plant so you have four plants um, and it'll be same with uh, kumara and piru piru uh, but this is where the, I'm going to be having my, my potato patch um, for our Christmas time so that's what I'm going to be working on today um, after I've done my um, compost with the chicken, my little helper over there. Yeah, 
Um, it's all about planning out and uh, just think about what you want to have in your garden. Um, taking green spaces and uh, putting down mutter. If you would have seen earlier in April, we had a, uh, a youth group up here and they actually helped us dig this bit um, using the broad fork. And they got that bed ready for us and we planted out. Um, Cabbages and collies, silver bead. I think that is an avocado that's just popped up. I think you need to graft those for properly, but we're just going to see what happens over there. And then the summer garden. I am, um, yeah, I've pretty much just been leaving it to itself. It hasn't done much other than what it's done. Um, producing now and it's really just coming to the end of it. So everything looks all I was gonna say hoary but tattered and worn and weeds are coming through and it's a, you know it's going to flower seeds um, yeah we planted a some brock toy broccoli cabbages in here but the chicken got in and was eating it the garlic's coming along all right so this is really just a touch up i'm looking at thinking about putting tomatoes along the back wall of this this wall here uh, this year uh, as, well, as well as one of our other sites and um, yeah do some do some tomatoes with and again i'm thinking about this this year instead of planting down the hill like i have i might i might look at planting this way so from the from the garlic, these don't look like they're going to take off at all. They were a late plant, um, and I bought them. But notice this: look what's happening here. Good old lady, silver bit. Found out that wasps get hungry, and this is their fix. The wasps up here locally coming along and munching away on it and eating food so they're desperate so yeah all the um, silver beets being munched but but they'll come through look there's a new one's coming through there you can see it's fine we're out of fun uh, it's coming along all right it's doing what it's need to do got vegetables over there Planting out the butter, thinking of the cycle of worm castings and worm juice. So now with our uh, kitchen waste and you know, put in here more clippings, <coughs> newspaper, and we've now closed the loop in regards to the cycle of health, uh, creating and turning back green waste and waste uh, of our vegetables uh, and allow the worms to do what they need to do to, for those organisms and microorganisms and the worm castings and also the worm juice and then we put it back into the soil. So anything that is not eaten or not used, green and brown waste, we put it into the air and the worms do their thing to give us more, more kai. Yeah. Okay. Happy gardening, fun. Get out there. Uh, get out there and um, build some kai for yourselves. Food security and sustainability. Um, building the opportunities for us to um, not be so reliant on the supermarket chains. Um, and build a, an ability to feed our own fun. Okay, Dougie. Hey, Kona. Thank you.